Harris County community, meanwhile, grieving the loss of an 11 year old girl. Uh, in this morning, trauma professionals are going to be on hand at Ford Middle School as that girl's classmates go back to class. John Hopperstad live outside the school where there's also an investigation into that girl's death. John, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Yeah, we do have a sheriff's deputy cruiser that just showed up here, but apparently that is the school resource officer. But there's also a heart that has been placed on the fence that surrounds Ford Middle School here this morning. A lot of people coming by and taking pictures of that. Pierce County Sheriff's Office now looking into reports of a fight that happened here at the middle school last week that apparently involved the girl here who died. We know at some point she was taken to the hospital where she eventually died. Investigators say, though, no one reported a fight prior to that girl being hospitalized, though there apparently may be some video that has made its way to social media of this altercation involving this girl. The district saying they received a copy of a video containing footage of an altercation with students. Any information received by the district is being immediately passed along to the Pierce County Sheriff's Department to assist in their efforts to better understand what occurred. Franklin Pierce Schools will continue to offer support for the family, friends, and impacted staff as we collectively grieve the loss of a cherished member of our community. Anyone who may have witnessed what happened here is also asked to call the sheriff's department. Uh, but many in this community do believe that this may be some bullying in this case. Bullying may be involved here and there are some parents that are apparently planning to protest could be happening as soon as today. Meanwhile, uh, the district has put out their what's called a flight team. These are trauma professionals that will be here starting this morning and through the week to help students and staff sort through their grief. We're live in Pierce County, John Opperstead, Fox 13 News.